tastes good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are hooked up to Plus Albacore right now. Uh, for all of you Rhode Island people who follow me, today is Sunday. It is the uh, Tog Classic. If we have stopped Tog fishing, Plus Albacore fishing. I don't know if you can see the birds and stuff everywhere. The birds behind us back there. Stuff's going on. up to my lure as you can see that is almost as close as it gets if I had a little smaller size lure that'd be better but it doesn't get much better we're gonna put this guy out of his misery before stuff I mean there's such a cool fish such a cool fish people really don't like to eat these things but I'm gonna show you that you don't have to be afraid to eat really tastes good. So when I bleed fish, especially tuna, all of them you start up here, you work your way down to here, cut through all the gills, come back to the other side, do the same thing, down. Cut there, put out his and this is super sustainable to eat because no one around here in the Northeast likes to eat these things. And they're good, I promise to show you. Nice black sea bass. See this? That's cool. Yeah, they're marking up the screen. I was in Louisiana, I'd be getting ready to poke a hole through this and pop a circle hook to it. <laughs> because this is basically what we use to catch yellow when we're chunking down there. It's basically the same exact fish. Alright, first thing we're going to do with this false albacore is 
something I've never done before. We're gonna put a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of lime, and a little bit of jalapeno in a bag, and we're gonna let that uh, marinate for a couple hours, and then we're gonna sear it. So I'm not really sure of how much stuff to use. I would just say use your best judgment. Um, like, when the fish is about covered in the soy sauce, you're probably good. I love spicy food, I don't know about you guys, so I'm gonna do a, a good amount of the jalapeno and keep the seeds in for sure. So, if you don't, maybe not even use the jalapeno or just take the seeds out. Lime. Again, I don't know what this is gonna be like. I read a recipe somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Um, I didn't even want to use the recipe, I just wanted to look it up and figure out what they're doing and why they're doing the things in the recipe and then I can kind of go from there. But this, this is looking good. We got soy sauce, lime juice, and jalapenos. It's gonna be ready to sear in a couple hours. Forgot ingredient, this is ginger. I'm putting ginger inside those that uh that bag with the jalapeno, soy sauce, and the lime juice. I'm adding ginger. Next we're going to do is something that I have done, but I wouldn't say I've done with this species. All right, so with this, we're gonna take it. I've already gotten most of the bloodline out, but there's a little bit more there. Get that out. The bloodline is the stuff that's a little like darker than the actual flesh, and it basically just tastes really fishy. It's edible, you can eat it. My grandpa loves to eat it. <laughs> he says it tastes fine, but uh, yeah, I, if you're not a, a fish eater or fishy person, I would just um, cut it out. But, I mean, look at that. I think if I showed this to most people and asked them what this was, they would just say, oh, it's a tuna. Ahi, people don't even know what that means. Ahi means smoke, but anyway. I would say, oh, yellowfin, bluefin, whatever. Nope, oh, that's false albacore, it's good stuff. We are just going to cube this up. There we go, we got one pile cubed up right there, one pile cubed up right there. All right, we are gonna, like I said, I've done this with yellowfin, kind of, not really. I kind of just like to try new stuff all the time and see what, see what I like, see what people in my family like, see what's a hit and see what's not. So I'm gonna take these little cubes these little bunches of fun, put them in a separate bag right there, and that's gonna get a little bit of yum yum. I actually went to the doctor and they said that I have like 1% yum yum in my blood. No, I'm just kidding. Yum yum, going in with these little giblets. Just enough to get them all all involved in there. Whew, that's gonna be good. So we got our sweet chili and we got our yum yum. These both going in the fridge. I think I'm I think this is gonna be this might be a hit. We're gonna see. Get them all solidified the rice Some lemon pepper fried black sea bass sunny what you got going on here a little bit of false algae <laughs> <Yeah. machine. laughs> most people in New England would put their nose up to this but the finest. This is the good stuff. Definitely doesn't melt in your mouth, but it's good. I like it.
So the one on the right, this one was sticky, but now it came down and I think it's okay. This one, that one looks stuck. I have to do something with that. It's <laughs> a good question, Grandpa. Not the bread. Mm. Did you? Is this the bread that I got at Wishing Stone today? Mm -hmm. That one looks better. <laughs> this can be eaten like that too, or it's meant to be eaten like uh... mm. that. Pretty mm -hmm. good. That one tastes good. I'm not made a video of you. I'm already videoing myself, so it's okay. Yo, if you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe if you do. Um, got a lot of great content coming. I'm here in Hawaii right now. There is Kona right there. Kona City. And um, yeah, stay tuned.